Hi ho! Welcome to the video where I'm going to show you something about a new pen. Uh, <laughs> I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and I'm just using a new setup for a little while. And then um, we're going to do a new style of video in which I show you the pen, and then we do the packaging and stuff on the desk. So um, this is just going to be a really short intro to the pen. We are talking about the Walt Disney, let me just grab the price, sorry, Walt Disney Great Characters pen. This is 870 US dollars. I have it on loan from Apple Bone Pen, just on loan, so I can review it and show it to you. It is quite the pen, it's very large. And um, in the desk down version, I forgot to show the clip. So the clip is quite springy and I like that. I just remembered that I forgot to show the clip because it's a new style of video recording that I just like totally forgot. I'm sorry. But anyway, Walt Disney pen, it's got Mickey on it. You're going to see the Mickey in more detail, but here it is just real quick. The pen itself is quite heavy and I like from afar, it looks interesting. And from up close, it's kind of interesting. So we're going to look at this in a bit of more detail. And I'm not really like a huge Disney fan. Like I'm not super into Disney, um, but I do like a lot of Disney movies. And um, yeah, that's all I really got to say. I like Pixar. And let's go look at this pen because there's a lot of details on it and we can see how it writes because that's more important. And look at packaging. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in a second. Okie dokie, let's look at the details of this pen. So it comes in the sleeve. Um, so if this is the first video you have, you have seen from me in a while, uh, just letting you know, I'm trying something new. So I'm putting the packaging, like I'm showing you the box and stuff like that face down on the desk instead of holding it up in the air because it's just easier for me and you can obviously see everything in a little more detail without like my face in the way and without background and stuff like that. So um, I'll continue with the introduction of the pen, but we will look at the details on the desk and we will look at the pen on the desk. So this is the Mont Blanc Great Characters Walt Disney pen. Um, what they have is just like their basic packaging. Well, not their basic packaging. They're fairly standard packaging for the great characters. This is their usual. Um, so the great characters is bigger, but not as large as like the donation pen and stuff like that. Thank goodness, because I hate packaging. So this is the Disney box. This is the yellow. The ink is supposed to be this color and it's actually pretty close but it's pretty blinding, so it's really hard to actually see anything um, when you're, sorry, when you're writing with it. It's definitely a, like a highlighter type ink. So um, let's open it up. Here are some of the details. Uh, great characters. Walt Disney Special Edition Fine Nib made in Germany. Cool. Inside, we have the stuff. Um, this is the box, just the clamshell again. Pretty cute. It's a little different because they've got the star. Um, and inside mm -hmm. the pen, I took the pen out just so I don't drop it. The pen would be sitting like right here. It actually looks pretty cool with the white, the black. Uh, it looks a bit like a torpedo, I guess. Um, and underneath there is space for the booklet or whatever. If you put your booklet underneath. Um, I don't really care for the packaging, but you know, if you're a per person who likes packaging and stuff like that, like just opening it up or leaving it in your display or when you're not using the pen, leaving it like this looks decent. So let's close the box. Close the what? Here we are, Mont Blanc, Great Characters, Walt Disney Special Edition. So there's features on the pen that match the packaging, of course. Um, they're honoring Walt Disney. The name Walt Disney is forever bound with the art of film animation and American movie history, an empire of unimaginable proportions grew out of his initial idea to perfect the technique of making cartoons. Born in 1901 in Chicago, Walter Elias D Disney became one of the most influential and most revered film producers of his time, thanks to his pioneering spirit and inventive ability. Um, this is from Mont Blanc, by the way. Uh, the overall shape of the writing instrument is inspired by the legendary monorail system, while colors are a reference to the original poster from Steamboat Willie, which depicts Mickey Mouse. The cap and barrel in matte black precious resin features several hidden Mickeys. That is true. Um, here's one. 
here's another one. So it's like kind of matching here. Um, and the signature of Walt Disney can be found on the cap top, and it is, it is here. Uh, a major significance in Disney's early career is celebrated with a set of coordinates engraved on the cone down here. Uh, they give the position of the garage belonging to Walt Disney's uncle, where Walt Disney and his brother constructed a camera stand. Now, Momo is really good at like putting in details that the coordinates seem kind of peculiar to me, but I'm like, I like Disney, but I'm not like a Walt Disney obsessive type thing. So I don't know all the details of like Disney and where things were done and all that kind of stuff, but that's okay. Anyway, so that's the background on the pen. And, um, with their special editions and their, um, like writer's editions and stuff like that, they do cute booklets. So like there's information about your book, your pen and like the history of your pen, why they have done these things. And, um, this is good for you if you're interested in it or if you're looking for um, like a gift for someone. So yeah, Walt Disney, a life devoted to imagination. So this is what I just read you. Um, there's a lot more stuff in here. This is all just different languages. Uh, it starts about the, tells you about the origin of Mickey Mouse. Uh, I don't know. It all started with a mouse is how Walt Disney liked to remember the most beginnings of his, his career. Um, but yeah, so here's some more details about the pen that we can, I can tell you about. Um, an iconic image of Mickey Mouse subtly decorates the matte black precious resin cap and barrel. You can see there's one where he's poking out. Here's the other ones that where he's blending in. Uh, Mickey's traditional color palette is reflected in the yellow and the red rings on the barrel and cone. And in tribute to Mickey's debut film, the platinum coated clip is shaped like a steamboat smokestack. Cool. Okay. I don't really know what a steamboat smokestack looks like, but that's cool. See, so you learn a lot by reading these packages. They're actually really useful. Um, anyway, so there's more details in here about Disney, um, some nice looking pictures, but I, there's the monorail and, um, like, yeah. Okay. I can see it. So um, there's the yellow ink and the notebook. I have not inked the pen with this ink because had I done so, you would not be able to see any of my writing and that would be useless. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Let's take a look at the pen. Oh, sorry, that was too close. So here we go. We talked about the details, so I don't really need to go over them again, but um, just so you can see everything tiny little finial which is pretty new for Mont Blanc. they're usually used to doing like bigger like they're usually more <laughs> very noticeable so this is really funny it's really small um yeah i don't know like i'm i'm sorry i'm just trying to zoom out a little uh it's interesting looking um i think this part like this mickey is really cute uh but other than that uh, it's pretty heavy pen um, let's uncap so we can look at the details. The cap is super heavy, of course, because of this. It does not post. So you're looking at uh, using it unposted and unposted is actually quite comfortable in hand. You can leave your cap upright. The section is metal. So that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. That's just the way it is. For me, um, because the pen is fairly well balanced, I didn't find it like slipping through my grip. This is slippery if you do this, but it's not really like pulling itself forward because of the weight. This is a bit sharp. So if you have big hands, like a large grip and you hold like this, you're definitely going to feel it, especially if you have a death grip. Uh, if you just hold lightly, you should be okay. It is a piston filler. It is inked, so I'm not going to turn it. And we can look at the nib, which is 14 karat. Let me just get in here. Um, it's a 14 karat gold single slit uh, round breather hole. It's got an adorable Mickey Mouse engraving on it. Um, that's pretty cute. It's got their standard plastic feed. Let's take a look at the underside, hit the tip here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, slightly over polished in my writing experience, just slightly. Uh, I found it worked better on like slightly toothy papers, but like with Rhodia and stuff like that, it's very smooth. 
And so there you go. That's what it looks like in my hand. Not bad. Um, let's do some writing. Let's get my notebook. So we shall write. This is a voice term notebook. Uh, it's a little less smooth than Rhodia. And so I found it a little better for daily use with this type of nib, which is slightly over polished. So Mont Blanc, great characters. Now, even though it's over polished, I do find that overall it performed very well. Um, like the occasional skip, um, you know, nothing terrible and to be honest i don't even think like if this was my pen i don't even think i would send it off to be worked on i think i would just leave it as is so walt disney this is 14 carat um fine they also come in like extra fine fine medium broad oblique medium oblique broad double broad uh an oblique double broad but you have to i'm pretty sure that you can get those special edition or sorry special order nibs but definitely the fine medium broad um, the ink is the very well-performing Mont Blanc UNICEF blue. Uh, let's just do some quick writing. Let's go zoom in a little bit more. Hello, Jello. In terms of wetness, it's actually quite wet especially for a fine. Um, let's just do, okay, this is with no pressure. Actually performs quite well. Um, we apply a little pressure, you get a nice medium. Now, like really, it's it's quite decent. Occasional skipping, slightly over polished, but not here, right, on smooth paper. Um, I do think the um the like the writing experience is very pleasant it's not super soft but it does yield slightly if you have a heavier hand you will feel the softness if you have a very light hand you're going to feel the softness anyway because it's quite smooth um, very minimal feedback i really like it it's a very comfortable nib like it's the kind of writing experience i enjoy when i'm looking for um, like a daily writer um, it's definitely on the broader side of a fine Walt Disney. Yeah, I probably should write Mickey instead of Meow. Mickey Monorail. Oh, that would have been an interesting name for him. Mickey Monorail. Okay, that's disregard me. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't see it coming off the screen there. So yeah, it's um, it's quite nice. Uh, it performs quite well. If the aesthetic works for you, then great. I. At 870 US or so, like, I wouldn't buy it. I would prefer actually just like one of their Meisterstücks or something. Um, this is not a great character's pen that super appeals to me, but I do like the Mickey peeking out super cute. Um, the nib performs well, like it's really, it's quite comfortable, but I would put my money elsewhere into some other pen. It's just that if you're a Mickey fan, if you're a Disney fan, uh, definitely worth looking at. So, um, thank you kindly to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. Yes, it's a loaner. Now, you do have the benefit of 10% off at Applebaum. Unfortunately, Mont Blanc does not allow discounts uh, like for standard fare. So uh, you can use the discount code FRIEND, but it only works on all the other stuff. And um, I am Gourmet Pens, as you probably know. Thank you so much for watching. It's much appreciated. I would love it if you would subscribe and like the video. That would be fantastic. And you can also find me out there as Toronto Pen Company doing pen shows and workshops and calligraphy stuff with cool tools. So if, check me out. Give me some loves. That would be, I'm pretty sure it would come for me. That would be much appreciated. So take care, everyone. Uh, thank you again for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.